All right, hello guys. Today we're gonna to be talking about a really, really intense ridge that is located over Texas and Oklahoma, and it's gonna be located over there over the next few days, and then maybe even move from that location to a different one in the United States. And we will be talking about that later in the video. I titled this Death Ridge, because that's what people in Texas are actually calling that right now, some people at least. I've seen lots of headlines calling it the Death Ridge, so that's what a lot of people there are calling it. Anyway, before I get started with this video though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content. I make all sorts of videos just like this one, and also make sure to check out the links in the description and the pinned comment for my social medias. Anyway, let's get right into it, guys. Right now, we are looking at the... Uh, this is the GFS model for August 9th, which is going to be Friday. So Friday at 5 p.m., this is what we look like. And you see those yellow or those white lines? That's actually what we call contours. And this is kind of how you see the 500 geopotential height. Basically, this is where we see where ridges and troughs are. You can see where it bumps up. Over the four corner states, it starts to move up, and then it starts to move down over the Gulf states. But we have this bump that's basically located over Texas, Oklahoma, and Louisiana right now, and or by Friday. And what this is going to do, which is actually tomorrow, by the way, but what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at that. And also, you can see the colors underneath. That's the temperatures. In those red colors, that's actually where we're seeing 100 degree plus temperatures. So 100 to 110 degree temperatures within that kind of pink color. The pink color that is above the, the white, whitish color there after the browns and grays and whites. Above that brown color though is anything over 90. So 90 and then the whites is more like closer to 100 degrees. And then the pink is 100 plus to 110 so you see a lot of Texas is in 100 degree plus, so very, very hot temperatures. Underneath where this ridge is located, we're going to be feeling very, very hot temperatures as well as very dry conditions for the majority of areas within it. So that's why this is such a big deal. It's going to, it's going to be so dry and so hot over these locations. So basically all of Texas and most of Oklahoma is being effect, affected by this and also Louisiana. And what we're going to go ahead and do is move on one to Saturday and you can see it's getting even more intense. Oklahoma by Saturday is even feeling even hotter than it was the day before. You can see a lot of those 105s to 110s for central Oklahoma right there, northern Texas, southern Texas. All of us are in those 105s to 110 degree temperatures. Again, within that pink region, that's the conditions we will be, be expecting. And within that lighter gray shade, that's where we're 100 degrees plus. Also notice that trough in the east, eastern United States, I've been talking about this cool down for such a long time. And you can see where the contours dip down over the eastern United States. That's what we'd call a trough. And that's where you're going to expect below average temperatures, as well as the west coast there. Wanted to just mention that. And then we're going to move on to Sunday. You can see even hotter there for Oklahoma. Arkansas is starting to get really involved here. And you can see the ridge is mostly located right there over the, over the borders of Oklahoma, Texas, and Arkansas. So it's starting to creep its way east. But again, a lot of those pinks creeping into Louisiana and Arkansas and Oklahoma is just getting even more pink by this point. So it's going to be 105 to 110 to 115 for multiple days here for Texas, Oklahoma, and then eventually Arkansas and Louisiana. Uh, we are feeling 100 degree plus temperatures for Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, and Florida by this point as well as we're going to be experiencing above average temperatures for those regions as well by this point. And then here's the 12th, which is going to end up being Monday, I believe. And again, the 105 degrees plus temperatures is just getting even hotter for Texas, even hotter for Oklahoma, and even hotter for Kansas and Arkansas. On the back end of that ridge is where we expect the warmest of the temperatures because it's kind of rotating in a clockwise rotation. So once the, once the high pressure system gets to the east of a given location, it's going to pull those warm air warm temperatures from the south of the high pressure system and launch it back up north. So that's what's happening here in Texas and Oklahoma. The high pressure system is located to your east and it's pulling up those temperatures from the Gulf of Mexico into the mainland areas. And that's why it's just so oppressively hot for Oklahoma and Kansas by this point, Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana, all of these areas are just so, so hot. Missouri is getting really hot by this point as well. And Mississippi and Alabama are starting to warm up. You can kind of see a trend. This is starting to move east. So what we're thinking is that this is going to eventually make its way to the east coast over the next two weeks. As it's going to kind of be sitting in basically the south central United States for a long time here. I wanted to pull one frame here. 
of the kind of upper air winds here. This is 250 millibars, which is just way up there in the sky. And you can kind of see the rotation that I was talking about here clockwise. And you can see where it's pulling those temperatures from the Gulf of Mexico up north into Texas. This is kind of an earlier one. This one's from the 9th, but you can tell that if it moves to over Mississippi and Arkansas and Louisiana, it's going to really pull those Gulf, Gulf of Mexico temperatures into Texas and Oklahoma. And we'll have to see what this one does. Again, I'm thinking as of right now that this is eventually going to, it's going to broaden out for sure, but it's going to make its way east. And if it does that, expect even hotter temperatures for Louisiana, Arkansas, Tennessee, Kentucky, Mississippi, Alabama, wherever's to the east of it, that's where you're going to get the hottest temperatures. But even the east coast is not safe yet from getting these really oppressive temperatures in kind of the moderate to long range here. So we're going to be making updated videos on this one. Most likely we're going to have to wait and see if this one's going to move east. If I see signals and see that this one's going to move east for sure, expect an updated video for this one where I'll be able to tell you guys what I'm expecting as far as the movement with this. But anyway, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video and I hope you stay cool out there in Texas and Oklahoma. I promise you give it a week and these temperatures will really subside if this thing can move out. So just fingers crossed that it, it starts to make its make its move away from you guys pretty soon. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.